Now we're going to talk about setting levels. The process for setting levels, we're going to use a concept called signal flow. And signal flow is really just how we get a signal from one source to another. So in a soundboard, that means getting your signal like a microphone from the singer to your ultimate output, the main outs. I think about it in terms of uh, water in a hose, okay? So if you think about um, a hose hooked up to a spigot and then on the other end of the spigot is the nozzle handle deal and then maybe even that, if you wanted to connect that to multiple hoses and split it out for a sprinkler system, there's multiple ways you can do that, multiple paths that you could make for the water to go. It's the same thing with audio. We're creating paths to send the signal. Now the, the most basic signal that we're gonna send is just from a source to its destination. So in terms of the spigot, or in terms of the water and the hose, what we're doing is we're going to turn on our spigot and that's gonna allow however much water, AKA audio, that we want into the hose. And then the nozzle, we're gonna control that to allow how much water we want out of the hose. So the way this works on, an, on a soundboard is using our input gain, and we're gonna, uh, this is called setting your gain structure, and then using our channel faders. So we're gonna get started, and we're going to uh, just test a regular microphone here on channel 20. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit input over in the meter section. When I hit input, you notice the fat channel totally changes, right? It originally looked like this. If I'm selected on any of the channels, it's gonna show EQ and compression and whatnot. But if I press input, now the fat channel becomes reactive and you can actually see if I, uh, like if I clap, there's live mics on the stage right now. So watch that it's actually gonna pick them up on multiple channels. So we see over here with the drums, it's picking up a little bit. So we're going to adjust the gain. This is called your trim or your input gain knob on channel 20. And what we're doing is we're looking for about 50% of the way up. A little bit more is fine. When you, um, but when you're testing either a vocalist or a musician, you want to make sure that you get them at their maximum level, right? You don't want to have the singer talking really, really soft. And then when they actually start singing, it's super loud, right? So again, press input, go up to your gain, and uh, have them sing at whatever level they're gonna sing, and turn up the gain until that's the right level. So let's say I'm singing, our God is greater. Our God is greater, our God is stronger, our God is higher than any other. So you see, we're, we're going just a little bit below 50%. I, I'd raise it up just a tad, okay? Our God is greater. And if for some reason I got really loud, it clips, right? The goal is we don't want it to clip. So if the person ever gets to that volume, you want to make sure that you back up your gain a little bit. So now that we've set, set our input gain, and you can do this with all of the instruments at once. Uh, that's the great thing about the way that Persona sets up their board as opposed to an analog board. On an analog board, you press solo or PFL, and then you'd watch one channel at a time. On this, we press input, and we can see everything going on at once. So then our next step, with the channel fader down, we're gonna turn up our mains to the level that we're gonna have them. Then again, with the channel fader down, we're going to unmute it. And now, we're gonna raise the level up to where we want it. And, and now you start, start hearing, hearing sound coming, coming out of the main speakers. speakers. Now, yeah, if, if we, we were getting any sort of feedback, I would wanna dial down the gain a little bit. I'll show you an example of that. Right, so I don't, I don't want it feeding back and the, the answer to the feedback is typically going to be drop your gain a little bit. You can EQ out certain frequencies that are causing feedback, but we're not gonna get, it in, get into that in this tutorial. So I think that about sums it up as far as input gain. Again, all you have to do, press input, go up to the channel that you wanna set, go to your gain knob, turn it until you get in the desired level at about half to two thirds of the way up, unmute your, f your channel, fade up the volume, and now you should have sound coming out of your mains. The great thing about this is you can, you can set all your levels just visually, just using the fat channel 
and watch all the meters there. And then once you've got good solid signals there, you can raise up all your faders and start getting the sound and the mix that you want.